So what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 44th angular chess tutorial in which I'm gonna go over through a library extension with angular known as angular animate and how this is gonna help you to create some awesome animations with your angular chess application so what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is pretty much I'm gonna show you a simple example so let's just take up example of our search box the old school friend and uh, pretty much to do that what I'm gonna do is create like search input type text then ng model of let's just say this is search box and then I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much say li ng repeat something we, we we need something right here so to do that I'm gonna go to controller.js and here you would notice that I have this main app from right here then this app controller from here but this is our new dependency which we need so this ng animate is coming from this library and you could pretty much google this angular animate and you'll get the same exact link so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna say scope dot um i don't know let's just say foods foods so let's just say this is pizza then i have burger then extra cheese cheesy pizza and then potato chips why not so here we go we have four foods in our list and I'm gonna say food in foods and pretty much just echo it out right here and here we go now one thing we are left with is applying a filter of search box so that it actually works now let's just reload this and you could pretty much see that if i write pizza it filters out only pizzas so here we go now but if you see in the dom you'll see that angular kind of abruptly deletes elements from the ul which it doesn't found in the list and abruptly adds them as well so this would kind of not allow you to animate stuff even with jquery or something so you need to tell angular that you want to apply some css animations or something so that angular actually gives you some sort of classes applied to these element elements and uh, pretty much you could then customize those anima animations using those classes so here comes to rescue the library angular.js angular animate and uh, using this I can give it a class of animate and right here on the top I can create some more styles and what these styles would be all about is how the events are handed when angular encounters them so right now I'm gonna say animate ng enter now this is a this ng enter is a default class which is attached whenever angular funds finds that it is about to you know make an element enter into the scene or into the view and uh, then how it should behave is right here in your hands so let's just say it should probably just show a transition of trn sidion 500 milliseconds linear all and we're gonna need to add some more styles but let's just make it common to ng leave as well so that the leaves smoothly and then i want animate ng leave dot ng leave active now what this means is that ng leave would be applied to the element which is about to leave and active would be the active state of that particular element so it, it is kind of hard to explain right now so i'm just gonna code it right away and you're gonna realize what this actually means so i'm gonna say this is opacity zero and uh, for again similar thing ng enter dot ng enter active 
and this is gonna say opacity one and this literally means that apply these styles whenever animate as well as ng enter as well as ng interactive all three classes are present on this li right here we have so let's reload and take a look now if i just open this ul and write p you can see how smoothly that burger kind of vanished into atmosphere and if i write like i you can see the potato chips right there now what is happening behind the scenes let's just take a look carefully now you could even pause the video if you want to whenever there's a little bit of change in the dom so that you could see the actual classes so i'm gonna write b and you could probably pause it so here we go b and if you just pause it and take a look at what the classes are added by angular you could probably see these three classes only animate uh, right there animate ng leave and ng leave active for the things which left the ul list so that is pretty much how you create animations with angular and you could actually just customize these animations uh, how you can do that is write ng you know pretty much i'm just creating a sort of class so that i can access these styles on the browser and uh, chrome i guess provides very nice interfere interference interference interface <laughs> actually so this chrome provides me some sort of like cubic breezer curves you could just create like if you want to create an animation like this you could pretty much customize your animation and this is pretty cool feature of chrome and it is available from quite a time so if you don't know about this i guess you should probably know and this is really cool you could create your own animation like or use some preset animations like out coordinated cubic linear out slow in and all that stuff and you could just play around with the cubic curves as well and pretty much you'll get a new set of animations every time so you just need to copy this code again and just paste it right there to make it work so that is how pretty much animations work and there's a lot more to animations you could do and that's all for this tutorial though and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then next tutorial